Hi everyone, Pavitra Nagraj here. In this video, I am going to explain how you can learn Morse code in less than 10 minutes. Before I teach you the easiest way to learn and remember Morse code, I'll let you watch the next video clip from the famous American sitcom television series, Ang Sheldon, and find some motivation for yourself to learn Morse code. I'm leaving. Okay, bye. Before I go, I need to give this to you. What? I should be back later tonight, but in case I'm not, this envelope contains my whereabouts. Do not open it unless you absolutely have to. That it? Yes. Okay, bye. I knew you were going to open this the moment I left. To slow you down, I've shrouded my destination in code. What a dork. I'm home. Hey. Hi, baby. Where's Sheldon? I don't know. He left. He left? Where'd he go? He wouldn't tell me, but he wrote it in this weird letter. When did he leave? An hour ago. An hour? I told him not to go. Where is it? We think this is Morse code. What does it say? Gee, I don't know. Now you all know why it's important to learn Morse code, isn't it? If Missy was able to understand that letter, then how better it would have been? She could have easily figured out where Sheldon is going to. Not just this, many people write their letters to their loved ones, get tattoos and also get their wedding rings done in Morse code. Just imagine someone writing you a letter or giving you a gift which has a Morse code message and you are not able to understand what that really means. You will feel bad, isn't it? So learn Morse code. Now let's learn what is Morse code. Morse code is a method used in telecommunication to encode text characters as standardized sequences of two different signal durations called dots and dashes. Dots and dashes are also called as dits and dos. Morse code is named after its inventor Samuel Morse. Morse code is transmitted using just two states, on and off. The current or wave is present during the time period of the dot or dash and it is absent during the time between dots and dashes. The International Morse Code encodes the 26 English alphabets from A to Z, numbers from 0 to 9, a small set of punctuation and procedural signals, and there is no evidential difference between upper and lower case letters when it comes to Morse Code. Each English alphabet from A to Z, numbers from 0 to 9, and punctuation signs have unique Morse Code symbols. The dot duration is the basic unit time measurement in Morse Code transmission. The dash duration is 3 times the dot duration. The gap between the dot and dash signs in a symbol and gap between two letters or words have different time durations. So we can say that International Morse Code is composed of 5 main elements. Short mark that is dot. The dot duration is 1 time unit long as said earlier. Second one is longer mark that is dash which is 3 time units long inter-element gap between dots and dashes that is called a space which is one unit long a short gap which is between letters it is three units long and a medium gap between words which is seven units long this is how the english alphabets are represented in terms of international moscow looks simple if you memorize it you can easily represent any english alphabet and write it in moscow I was just kidding. Though it seems simple, it's indeed difficult to memorize and remember Morse code, especially if you are learning it for the first time. So I'll present a mnemonic which I have designed on my own to help you all learn Morse code easily and also remember it forever. The English alphabet A is represented by a Morse code symbol dot followed by a dash. This can be remembered by using the word the Avengers. See here, the word D consumes less time to pronounce than the word Avengers. So D is equal to the dot sign and Avengers is equal to dash sign. So you can remember it this way. When the word the Avengers pops up in your mind, it is a dot followed by a dash. The letter B is represented using a dash followed by three dots. You can easily remember it by using the sentence between you and me. Between is a longer word which takes more time to pronounce. So it is a dash, you and me. It is equal to three dots. The letter C is represented using the Morse code symbol dash, dot, dash and a dot. 
it can be easily remembered using the word ko ka ko la see here the pronunciation of the word ko takes more time compared to that of la and ka so you can use the word ko to remember dash and ka and la for dots the letter d is represented using the morse code symbol dash followed by two dots it can be easily remembered using the words don't do it here the word don't consumes more time to pronounce so it is a dash do and it consumes less time so those two are dots the letter e is represented using a single sign that is a dot you can easily remember it using the word egg because egg is a small word and it consumes very less time to pronounce the letter f is represented using the morse code symbol two dots a dash and a dot the words which can be used to remember this are you can find it here the word find represents a dash the remaining words represent a dot the letter g is represented using a morse code symbol which has two dashes followed by a dot the words which can be used to remember this are god knows it god and knows these two words represent a dash the word it is used to represent a dot as you can see the words god and knows consume more time to pronounce so those are used to represent the dash and it is used to represent a dot the letter h is represented using a morse code symbol with four dots so it's very simple we just have to remember it with these four words hey how are you the letter i is represented using a morse code symbol with two dots just like h even this is very easy to remember the words which are used to remember this i are i bit i bit both the words take very less time to pronounce hence they are used to remember the dots the letter j is represented using the morse code symbol dot followed by three dashes the sentence which is used to remember this symbol is i love jimmy kimmel here the three words love jimmy and kimmel take more time for pronouncing but i takes less time so i represents a dot and other three words represent dash the letter k is represented using the morse code symbol a dash dot and a dash the sentence which is used to remember this morse code symbol is keep it simple here the words keep and simple take more time to pronounce compared to it so those two are used to represent dash and it is used to represent the dot the letter l is represented using the morse code symbol dot a dash followed by two dots the sentence which i am going to use to remember this symbol is i love this look here the word love needs more time to be pronounced compared to other three words so it represents a dash and other three words represent dots the letter m is represented using a morse code symbol which consists of two dashes the words which i am going to use to remember this is money matters both the words money and matters take more time to be pronounced so they represent dash The letter N is represented using a morse code symbol dash followed by a dot. The words which I am going to use to remember this are nailed it. Here the word nailed takes more time to pronounce, so it represents a dash, and it consumes less time, so it represents a dot. The letter O is represented using three dashes. It's very simple. So let's find three words. which facilitate us to remember this those three words are oh my god see all the three words oh my god take more time to be pronounced the letter p is represented using the morse code symbol dot two dashes and a dot the sentence which i am going to use to remember this is my poor puppies die here the word poor and puppies take more time to be pronounced so they represent the dashes and the remaining words represent the dots the letter q is represented using the morse code symbol two dashes a dot and again a dash the sentence which i'm going to use 
to remember the symbol is God save the Queen. Here the words God save and Queen consume more time to be pronounced than the word D. So those three are used to represent the dash and the remaining is used to represent the dot. The letter R rip is represented using the Morse code symbol dot, a dash and again a dot. Here the sentence which I am going to use to remember this is she is rocking it. Here the word rocking takes more time to be pronounced compared to she or it. So it represents a dash. The other two words represent the dots. The letter S is represented in Morse code using three dots. The word which I am going to use to remember this symbol is S O S. The letter T is represented by a single dash in Morse code. It is very easy to remember. Even though it's easy, I am using a word to remember it. That's tornado. The letter U is represented in Morse code as two dots followed by a dash. The sentence which I am going to use to remember this is it's an umbrella. Umbrella takes more time to be pronounced so it is used to represent dash and the other two words are used to represent the dots. The letter V is represented in Morse code using three dots followed by a dash. The sentence which I am going to use to remember this is I like this video. I like and this consume less time compared to the word video. So I am using those three letters to represent the dots and the word video to represent the dash. A quick reminder, if you like this video, hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do subscribe. The letter W is represented in Morse code as dot followed by two dashes. The sentence which I am going to use to remember this is the world war. Both the words world and war require more time to be pronounced, so they represent dashes. The letter X is represented in Morse code as dash, two dots, followed by a dash. The sentence which I am going to use to remember this is X is a mark. The letter X itself and mark consume more time to be pronounced compared to other two letters, hence they represent dashes. The letter Y is represented in Morse code as dash, dot, followed by two dashes. The sentence which I am going to use to remember this is you are a cool mom. That's right, you are a cool mom. Here the words you are cool and mom consume more time to be pronounced. So they are used to represent dashes. The letter Z is represented in Morse code as two dashes followed by two dots. The sentence which I am going to use to remember this is zero hour it is. Though the sentence is not grammatically correct, it's easy to remember. Zero hour, both the words are used to represent dashes, while it and is are used to represent the dots. Now let me try to write my name in Morse code. The first letter is P. So it's my poor puppy's style. Then A, the Avengers. Then V, I like this video. I, I bet. T, tornado. H, hey, how are you? Heart, she's rocking it. A, the Avengers. It's done. Now even you can write your name in Moscow. Now we know how the English alphabets are represented in Moscow. But how the numbers are represented in Moscow? That is shown in this slide. Zero is represented using five dashes and five is represented using five dots. Each Morse code which is used to represent the numbers have five signs. As you can observe, there is a pattern from one to four and six to nine. It's quite simple to remember these signs. Just give some time and practice. Now we know how the numbers and alphabets are represented. Let's move forward to punctuation marks. In this slide, I have given the Morse code for all the punctuation marks. There is no mnemonic to remember it. But you will be able to learn it as you practice. Now let me try to read what this tattoo means. The first letter is P. 
as you can see it's my poor puppy's time the second letter is a the avengers the third letter is s s o s the fourth letter is again s s o s the fifth letter is i bit that's i the sixth letter is o oh my god and the seventh letter is n nailed it so it's p a s s i o n fashion now you have successfully learned morse code thanks for watching